Here we have a new 2025 Honda CRV. Now this one's a two wheel drive model, comes in the EXL trim level. We get the platinum white pearl paint, and then we have gray leather interior. For the powertrain, we get a 190 horsepower turbocharged four cylinder engine that's made it to a continuously variable transmission. So as we come around the front end here, LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. And I really like how they did a good job at kind of making these all linear in terms of the CRV, the Pilot, the Accord, even the Civic. It just, they all look sleek, but in their own way. And down here we get 18 inch alloy wheels. We get passive keyless entry on the front, memory seat functions, one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors, power door locks, power mirrors, rear window lock. And then over here we have our power lift gate control, hood latch right there, get a manual tilt, telescoping steering wheel. And then here's our power driver seat. We have two way power lumbar support as well. But I had that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna check out the room behind us. Now this vehicle stickers for 36805. And I wanna give a big thank you to Dale Waltrip Honda for allowing me to review the CRV today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And then if you're interested in finding one in your area, just make sure you click the link below. Fill out that info, it takes a minute or two, and we can make sure you get your best price in your area. But there's a view of the front from back here. And the space is phenomenal in this SUV. I have several inches of headroom, even with the sunroof. Legroom is very good. Again, having the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size. Seat back pocket here. Rear AC vents, we get two USB-C charge ports. And then our middle seat folds down, two bottle holders here. And this is actually a really good armrest. I love how plush it is. Let's see what color these lights are. Okay, we do get the LED dome light back here, which is good. Grab handle, we can hang a shirt or pair of pants there on that hook. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. Capless fuel filler there. And to the back end, really like the, the rear design of the tail lights. Very good look. Rear sensors are integrated in that bumper there. We do have a dual exhaust. Let's go ahead and pop the lift gate. And one thing I've always said about the CRVs, I like that the, the cargo space you kind of have to dig down into. It's not like up higher because it gives you more space overall because the actual cargo area is taller. And if you look down here, spare tires right there. We don't get a, a legitimate side pocket, but we do have these little barriers here which kind of turn these into side pockets. And it was, you know, a cheap fix and it was kind of smart, I think, because you can also remove those if you don't want them. 12 volts here. Now we have two tethers on the back here for your car seat and I'll show you how we can fold these down we also have the rear side airbags which is a nice touch we can grab this handle fold that flat we can also go ahead and use it to recline as well so pretty adjustable seat there and then I like that the anchors are actually just in the back of the seat. They're not necessarily intruding on your back while you're sitting, but they're very easy to get to. And then to our front passenger seat, you have a power seat back and seat bottom. Lockable glove compartment here. There are the owner's manuals. And then our vents are integrated right in here. Like that trim. And as we come back around to the front, we're gonna take a quick look in the engine bay. And there's that turbocharged four cylinder there. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat next. So nice leather wrap steering wheel here. Feels really nice and the leather feels genuine as well. I like that. There's the horn. Now over here to the radio, 
Here we get AM, FM, and then we also have XM, Bluetooth audio, and we also have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility, which is a nice touch there. General settings, you can go in here, mess with your smartphone connections, your system settings here, so you can change your date and time, language, and all of that. And then you can also go to your vehicle settings. And in here you can mess with the tire pressure monitors and your meter setup if you want to change your speed distance from US to metric, you can do that. Backup cameras here, guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And I just like how everything is simple here. You can click that, turn the audio off, adjust the the volume there and then we can go through track lists or radio stations there and then when you're in the actual audio source you can save your presets just by holding the, the screen there now down here we get our dual zone automatic climate controls with three stage heated seats we can adjust temperature on either side there sync and unsync fan speed and then you can click to turn the whole system off and then down here, wireless charging pad, USB-A, USB-C charge port, 12 volt. And then for your shifter, grab this lever, reverse, neutral drive, sport. And then you have your low gear there. And then for your drive modes, you have normal, econ, and snow. And then auto stop toggle, downhill brake control, electronic parking brake, brake hold, bottle holders here. Center console, cubby space. And then sunshade. We can tilt or slide this roof. So I'm gonna one touch slide it just so we can see how wide it opens. So pretty good there. And there's a look at the back seat from up here. Sunglasses holder, all of those controls. And then we have our vanity mirror here. But back to the steering wheel, blinkers, high beams, flash. And then we have our auto headlamps here intermittent wipers one time off intermittent low high we're going to adjust that intermittent frequency here and then adjust our rear wiper here and pull that way or that way for the rear wiper fluid pull up for the front wiper fluid and then back to the steering wheel itself we can go through track list radio station presets there volume and then we have our adaptive cruise lane centering gap adjust for the adaptive cruise we can set our speed cancel the cruise there and then voice recognition and this home button and the scroll bar is just to go through the left side of the gauge cluster there. So if you want to pull up certain menus, you can. So quite a bit you can see there. Push button start. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. 